digital romance TV. Hey, how are you? It's Michael Fiore and Nora Blake from DigitalRomance.tv. Nora, should you date your boss? No. But I'm right here. Come no. on. What? Well, come no. on. I'm cute. Never. What? Shut up. I got guns. Stop it. I, so, well, come no. on. Oh, really? It's really not appropriate. No, it's really not appropriate. Um, you shouldn't date your boss. No, you should definitely not date your boss. If no. your boss is putting pressure on you to date him, you should not be in that job anymore. Yeah, or her, by the way. That happens sure. too. Sure. Um, no, you shouldn't date your boss for a variety of reasons, uh, one of which is when it goes wrong, you lose your job. Uh, or your job becomes hell at that point. Yeah. <laughs> if something goes wrong at that point. Uh, number two is the power dynamic is pretty fucked up, yeah. honestly, because you're oftentimes when you're attracted to your boss, it's because of the power dynamic. Absolutely. In one way or another. Um, because, you know, people are attracted to powerful people. Uh, particularly women are attracted to powerful men. Men are somewhat attracted to powerful women in a different way. But it's often the fact that they have power that makes them more alluring. They might not even be the most physically attractive person, but you're seeing them in a context of professional success and professional power and status and all these things that can be kind of hot yeah. at that point. Uh, but that power dynamic, which is appropriate in the workplace to a certain degree, is incredibly inappropriate in an actual relationship. A uh, relationship is supposed to be, most of the time, a partnership of some kind where you are equals, and it is very but, hard to establish that. But isn't that power dynamic pretty hot in the bedroom? It can, I mean, no, no. In the bedroom, it certainly is. And there's plenty so, of people who like, but there's a difference between, you know, women particularly like dominant men, right? And having a man who's dominant in the bedroom is great, but you don't want a guy who's acting that exact same way out in the real world all the absolutely. time. Absolutely. Right? You, you just, unless you do, but most people no, don't. No, you don't. So, yeah, it can be really hot in the bedroom, and that's. But that's the, yeah, I have to understand that's the power dynamic that's making you so attractive in the first place. So it's okay to sleep with your boss, just not have a relationship. No, with it's them. not that either. If no? you're going to date, what I would say is, if you are feeling that attracted and there's mutual attraction with your boss or even a coworker at a certain point, and you want to pursue that, you should get a new job first if you can. And if you can't get a new job, then you should not date your boss. Okay. Plain and simple. Do you have anything? Do you disagree? No, I absolutely agree. Yeah, so you're like, whatever, but I'm on it, whatever. I'm just um, giving you a hard time. Um, I yeah, no, I uh, I absolutely agree. I don't yeah. think you should be involved with people that you work with, unless you're in a different department. I mean, it's it's the working with, the somebody you have to see every day, somebody that you're going to have to, no matter, we all like to believe that, you know, relationships are going to last forever and everything's going to be great, but the truth is that most relationships don't, they don't. work out in a good, favorable way, and you're not gonna be with them forever. So, don't do that where you have to go to work every day. Unfortunately, what makes it hot is also what makes it toxic. Yeah. It's a problem. My brother and his wife, by the way, they met at work years and years ago, and uh, they were working in, they weren't even working in the same department at the company, but they were working at the same company, and when it was getting more serious, my brother decided to go find another job. Now, he was capable of doing that. Yeah. Uh, it was a better job for him, he made more money at the new place, yeah. et cetera, but they very specifically were like, wow, this is serious. Uh, we shouldn't work together. I'm going to go find someplace else to yeah. work. Right? Again, if you work with somebody, if you just work at the same place as somebody yeah. and you're never going to see them and you're, you don't have to worry if things will go badly, then great. Yeah. But don't, not in your same like working group, not, a, not somebody that's higher up than you or lower down than you in the chain and just don't, not somebody you work with. By the way, also there's the... Unless the, you're, I mean, I guess if you're like, I don't know. If you're like, you know, working behind the counter at McDonald's. Sure, like, yeah. Uh, there's sure. also the dynamic of if you are sleeping with your boss, dating your boss, and you have coworkers who are on the same level as you, that will cause a lot of problems. Yeah, that will. Uh, even if you are not being given special treatment, you will be presumed to be given special treatment. And you'll be treated as though you're giving special treatment, and it will be probably very detrimental to your career. Yep. Uh, in the long term. In the short term, it might seem like it's helping your career. In the long term, it will not. Okay, so there you go. Um, if you have any uh, stories about uh, you know dating your boss or sleeping with your boss and having it blow up in your face, write in detail down below and then go to Digital Romance. Or you can tell us all videos. about how you married your boss and everything. And it, it worked great. out great. Just, it was great because one here. example sets the rule. There you go. Next, bye. Did you know there's a three-step formula to make a guy fall desperately in love with you? Go to digitalromance.tv forward slash chh to learn a simple method any woman can use to capture a man's heart and make him love you forever. Again, that link is digitalromance.tv forward slash chh.